morning, you ladies. My name is Jack Septicai, and welcome to some spooky games. It is the month of October, so I wanted to play some spooks. I want to get real scared, okay? Don't hold back on me. I can take it. I'm a grown ass man, okay? I'm almost 30. I can do it. Right? Don't scare me too much, though. All right. Um, so let's bring in the first game. Here it is. It's called September 1999, and it just starts like this. Like, this looks real. This looks like real life. It looks like I'm playing... Jesus Christ! This looks like I'm playing someone's whole movie. This looks insane! Fucking hell. I have no reflection though, so... Boo! <laughs> okay, I don't know what I do. Are you serious? This looks like real life. Oh yeah, this is cool. Okay, but what happened on the 18th of September 1999? That's my question. Can I actually do anything? None of my buttons do anything. Oh. Okay. So it is just like a found footage thing. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, I don't like this. Hello? The fact that it looks so real doesn't help. I mean, it helps a lot, but not for my paranoia. Oh, and found footage stuff to me is always the creepiest. Oh, do I just keep walking around until you restart again? You can zoom in. What the hell is this a picture of? Oh, there we go. What? There's police outside. Come in! Oh god, oh god, oh god, it's so dark. Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ! Did I kill someone? Oh, Christ. Oh, God. I hate this. Okay, so it started off the 18th of September, and now we're on the 21st. Oh, God, is that like a fucking cellar? Oh, there's blood everywhere. Am I a serial killer? Sweet mother of God. I just, I'm just luring people back to my house and murdering them, aren't I? And chopping them up. There's a chainsaw there. Oh, my picture of my bird is gone. This is so fucked! There it is. God, it looks so real! I can't move.
That's messed up. That was it. That was the whole game. What the fuck, man? <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, sweet Jesus. God, it, that looked incredible. That's that was so cool. I mean, it was helped by the fact that it was 4-3 ratio and it was also a VHS and things like that. But that was incredibly convincing. I would love a whole game about that. I mean, that was the whole game, but you know what I mean. Um Yeah, that was September 1999. I was playing as a, a serial killer who brought people into his house and cut them up with a chainsaw. Yep. <sighs> Bring in the second game! Bring it- where is it? I can- I can hear it. I can hear the second game. Somewhere. It's coming- it's- oh god. Oh jeez! Oh fuck! Hi. Alright, so this game is called Rib Eye Charlie's. Um, and it has the same sort of VHS effect going on. You can tell that I kind of like that. I like the retro kind of scan line sort of glitchy uh, VHS kind of look to things. Um, but I think it's kind of a- Uh oh. I think it's kind of a Five Nights at Freddy's thing. I'm not sure. It's called Ribeye Charlie's and it's a pizza place, so I guess I shouldn't just connect everything like that. But, please note Ribeye Charlie's. Give it to the authority. Delicious and refreshing. What? Wait, what does it say? Ribeye. Kill them. Okay. Beep boop boop, I work here. This is my place. Can I have a drink? What the hell do I do? Find need to find a way out. Well, it was right there. I could have just left. Oh, there's a door over here. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Alrighty. Do I have to look for senior key? Key anywhere? Anything anywhere? I'm not really seeing a whole lot of anything anywhere. Okay, thorough sweep. That's what we need to do. Oh. I can pick these up. Oh. Yeah, I can't read what's on it though. What does it say? Eh. I don't know, I have bad eyes. I don't know if I'm hearing stuff in the game or I'm hearing stuff outside. Oh, now I'm weirded out. I think it's outside. Oh! A key! Okay, got it. Alright, you just gotta look at every little tiny nook and cranny. You never know where stuff's gonna be hiding. Okay. There was a person there. Oh, hi. Fuse box. Okay, I'm assuming I need something from these. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, they're coming this way. Okay. Past the meats we go. This is not a good place to be hanging meat. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, I did not expect a person with a cow mask to be coming after me. Okay, I got a fuse. Are they still following me? No, okay. That's good. That's good. Okay, fuck this. That was so weird. Oh, man. Hi. Hi. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is this? This is so bizarre! Okay, that's two. I need two more. Alright, which direction does he go? I heard him! Uh, he, he back there somewhere. Okay, you give him birth. Goodbye, Charles. The following message is transmitted at the request of the authority. That's great. But I need to get that F out of here. 
stations within our broadcast area. A danger warning? What? Oh god. Oh god, I don't want to get trapped somewhere. What? That sounded like you were way closer than you actually were. Oh, Jesus, where am I? Where am I? Oh, I do not want to be here. Okay, okay, okay. Just give me the last fuse, eh? That's all I need. That's all I want. I don't- I don't ask for much in life. <laughs> Fuck! Okay, okay, just go! Just go! Jesus Christ! Ah, there's more than one! <sighs> Fuck! Okay. Okay, what turned into a goofy little jaunt through Ribeye Charlie's, uh... Emporium. Really started to get shit, didn't it? Really started to fuck me over. Oh, okay, he saw me already and he's running this way. That's great. Oh, there's no fuse in here. Oh, Jesus Christ! Don't do do don't! I get it, I get it. Shut up, leave me alone, go away. Give me that fuse. Okay, he gone. He gone. Lord. Okay, fuses seem to be in the same places. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! Oh, both of them are chasing me. Okay. Okay, well that should mean that there's a fuse down here somewhere. Shit, shit, shit. I can't go that way. I'll die. No uh. oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> this is bad. At least if they're in the same place every time I know what I'm doing. Wait, what? I put in three? Oh, fuck. Do you guys never give up? Hey! I get it. Don't, 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 don't. Leave me alone! I'm a nice boy! He's still up my ass. I can't escape. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I get it! Leave me alone! <laughs> <laughs> Go away! Sons of bitches! Go through the meat! Dodge! Wait, maybe I have a fourth. Oh. Oh my god, he's right behind me. I can hear him. I'm just gonna go th try and get the other fuse. I don't know what else I can do. I'm gonna die down here, but... The following message is transmitted at the request of the authority. The authority oh. emergency management agency has issued a civil danger oh. for all locations within our broadcast. Oh! Oh, okay! Alright, just put in the fuse, that's all I need. <laughs> at least I got it! I thought I was gonna die if I went down to get it. Nice! I don't know what that did. What did that do? Did that save me from something? I don't know! Okay, let's try down here. It's a fucking dead end. It's a dead end. Oh no. Oh, can you not come in here? Oh! Oh, I'm a dumbass. It just opened up the gate to get out, didn't it? Oh shit! Am I going to get caught by this guy if I just go down? Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go! Oh, he's right up my sphincter! Okay, just get out through the main door! I know, Bessie, I know! Okay, go, go, go! Holy fuck, this is tense! Go, go, boy, go! Okay, okay, out the main door! You're not able to chase me through here, are you? Haha! -ha! Peace out, bitches! Oh, you escaped. Oh, I'd never want to go near Ribeye Charlie's again! Whew! Okay, that was fun. <laughs> now get it out of here! Where's the next game? It's- I smell horror. I- I smell it! You have it! Give it- give the game to me! Give it! Oh, thank you!
Uh, this game is called Isabel. So another spoopy, scary game. Um, the screenshots of this looked really cool, so I, I thought I'd check it out. Really cruel? No, really cool. Really cooler world. That's an awkward way to stand up. Alright. What have we got? Who is Isabel and why do I have her stuff? Okay, this is weird. The Duke of Tarnstead is due in three days, but Isabel will have nothing to do with the marriage. The Baron needs to rule his daughter as he rules his lands. My daughter was sniffing around an accused witch. I take my belt to her. The Baron should learn to heed his advisor's warnings. I've never led him astray. Really good lessons in all of this. You know, if someone's acting weird, take a belt to them. It's the 1950s thing to do. All right, who, who, where is Isabel? Who is Isabel and why should I be taking a belt to her? I tried to warn him, but now it's too late. The Baron is dead, cursed with a vile affliction. Hemorrhoids. His flesh nearly boiled from his bones. Hemorrhoids will do that to you. Isabel claims the witch taught her a simple charm spell, but after witnessing the horrific scene, I'm sure the girl has been learning the devil's craft for quite some time. Voodoo black magic. She hangs at dawn. Her would have been husband can witness her legs dangle. I feel like I'm getting in the middle of something here. I feel like I should probably just leave, you know. I don't know if it's for me to say. Okay, the controls for this are weird. You have to double click everything. Oh wait, can I pick up this? Yeah. All right, come along, Mr. Candle. We have Isabel to find. And a witch, apparently, though. I don't know if I should go near witches. Oh, the motherfucker's scary. Isabel! <laughs> okay. You're fast. The girl is dead. Her tears laughable. Tomorrow, once the duke has gone, we will find the witch that appreciate that apprenticed the young murderer. I must admit, watching her body sway brought me much joy. Mmm. I don't know. That sounds a bit like you have a bit of a problem as well. The Baron was soft for the comforts of such things. Family, love. Bah! Hearing things. That was his undoing in the end. Murdered by his own daughter. How pathetic. Yeah, what a dumbass getting murdered by his own murdering daughter. So I guess Isabel's dead. We're just looking for a witch now. Or maybe the witch possessed her. Either way, there's a doings a transpiring. Sweet mother of God, I have to... <laughs> I have to dangle this freaking thing in front of me. Wee! <laughs> Look at it go! You spin me right round, baby, right round. Did I did I do it? Yeah. Zendaya is Michi. I don't know if I should be here though. I don't know if I like it. Can I have the key back? Do I need a second key? I shouldn't need a second key. Haha, I don't. Is this your skull and bones? Whoa! Okay, calm down. <laughs> don't go losing your head. Isabel lives! A cobbler brought me the news today. The witch cut her down and several citizens watched as her soul entered her body once again. Madness! The town guard stays behind today to burn the wretch as I follow the hunting party into the woods after the girl. I will see to it myself that Isabel dies and stays dead. I don't know about this. Can I? Where'd it go? Oh man, I wanted the skull. I wanted to throw it at somebody. Okay, I'm gonna need another candle. I'm a little lightless down here. I'm gonna just go back and get my friendo here. Oh, that's not my friendo. That was my friendo. Well, you're gonna have to do. Come on, candle, light my way like Rudolph in the Great Beyond. Oh, God almighty. 
That's a lot of them bone boys. All right, let me put my candle down. Oh. Okay, oh, that was fucking creepy, actually. Zendaya is creepy. <laughs> Several days ago, no, hours maybe, we cornered her in a cave. But something is wrong here. The tunnels seem to run back into themselves. We see shadows of her dancing the walls. Some of the men hear laughter, others screams. Others hear their dad say that they're not proud of them. Daniels removed his own eyes yesterday with his ration spoon. He said that he needed to put them somewhere else so he could see into the future. He didn't last the night. Funnily how that happens. Isabel is going to kill us all. Not me, I say. Not me. Oh, that's really creepy. It's just an old lady. Why is everyone so scared of an old lady? Why is that random light here? Is that the sun? I was dead all along! I'm a ghost! What the fuck am I even looking at? You see me? <laughs> oh god, it still gets me, despite how corny it is. How do, how do, I need a key? What? Do I? Where do I get a fucking key? Did I see a key down here? No, I can stand on the cauldron though. Can I get up there again? Oh, that was fun though. I wanna I wanna hop up. Oh wait. Aha! A key! Zendaya is me each key! <laughs> Alright, let me stick this key in. Radical. Okay, I'm leaving my candle behind because I trust myself and my instincts. And also because there's another one right here and I'm gonna use this. Do 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 do. That's gonna do something. Halt, skull! Who goeth there? Don't move. Don't do it. Don't. Ooh, it did it! Okay, I asked it not to and it did it anyway. That's a fucking dick move, game. Hey, everything's fine. Who knew? Hey, a key. The spinny keys! I have two hands! Can I hold up a candle with the other one? Kind of hard to see. I don't have my night glasses. All I have are my footsteps and BTS stuck in my head. Fire! Du, 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 du. You know? Squee! Ugh. I don't really care who you are, mister. I would just move town. Wait! Savior! Am I out? Is this it? Have I done it? Have I jinxed it? I have, haven't I? Don't turn around. I kind of want to. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's Isabel! She got you by the ankles! Don't turn around! Don't do it! No, oh, you did it! You did it! You done fucking did it! You turned around and then you saw her big ugly face in your face! Oh, she looked like a hobbit though. <laughs> oh, that was neat. There wasn't a whole lot of spooks to it, but I had fun. <laughs> That does it for that game. You gotta, you gotta sweep it out. So go, go, shoot. Get out of here, game. We, we need room for more. There's more games to be played. Something smells rotten. Something smells foul. Oh, that's right. We're playing a game called Rot. This is a, a tribute to a Corridor Digital short movie. And the Corridor Digital short film is based around Silent Hill. So it all kind of coalesces into this, so we're back from video game to movie to video game. So here we are. It looks kind of cool. 
Um, a friend of mine recommended it to me and said that it was really good, so I trust their judgment, so I'm going to go ahead and play it and see what it's like. It's by the Corridor Digital Short Film. There we go. Yeah, see? Told you. And I have seen the Corridor Digital Short Film, so it'll be curious to see how accurate this is. Although the Corridor Digital Short Film does not take place in a forest. Wait, wakey, wakey! Hello? Rot. Okay, or rot. Which is red in some languages. Oh, man. See, this is what you get from having an android. Oh, God. Can I- can I get out? I'm sorry that I hit you with my car! And she's gone. Oh, creepy. Okay, so they just used voice lines from the actual short movie. You alright? It's okay, it's, it's okay, I'm not, I'm not trying to hurt you. Yo, oh, and she gone. No, no, she's there. Oh, yes. Love it. Okay. That wind effect in the trees is really nice. This head tilt is not, though. You don't, you don't move your head like that. Although then again, you're also not half dead in a car crash most times, so. It would make sense. There's a building here that I didn't see before. And there's noises coming from it, so I'm gonna just walk on over here. Oh, it's so creepy. That's my phone. Am I gonna wake up in my car again? Hello? Air raid siren? What's happening? Oh god, the wind kicked up a lot. Oh, that's awesome looking. Holy shit! That's so cool! I thought I could hear footsteps behind me. Oh, this game is badass! I've heard that horror sound effect before. Okay. Against my better judgment, I'm going back. God, I love this type of stuff. I love, like... Air raid sirens are really cool. I love when they just, like, kick in... ...out of nowhere sometimes, in movies or something. Like, you're just out in the middle of nowhere, and you hear the air raid siren, because you know shit's going down. Oh, God! Is that the lady? Oh, God! Ooh, that is so freaky! Fuck. What? Oh, weird. I'm going back to my car. I told you. <laughs> I can't do anything now. Oh, I can. Oh, it's so weird. Can I get out? Hello, you're on to Jack. Oh, can you remember 
What? <laughs> Try and remember for me. I, uh... I think something's... Try. Something's wrong with... With me, I, uh... I need some help. Duck. What? Duck. Duck. Oh, Jesus. So cool. And you're back in the room. We have a gun. I'm dead, but I'm pretty sure I'm dead already. This is all stuff that happens in the short film as well. It's all like coming back to me as I play this. I think what happened was that I hit somebody with my car and now I'm like stuck in limbo or I'm like fighting my own conscience and stuff. Visuals are really cool in this. I want like a whole game. Can you remember? No. The twenty-first night of September. What did you do? You took me, kill me. Can you remember now? I'm sorry I walked around with my pants off that one time, okay? I didn't know those school children would be around the corner. Oh, that's fucking dope. Oh, her her calling out is always in my left ear. Don't run, running now. Who the fuck is this? What the oh, hell is <laughs> She's so creepy. Oh, there's more than one. Is there two of them? That's such a cool effect. Return to vehicle? Did it say that? It said something about vehicle. Okay, get back to the car. Drive away! Drive away from your problems. That'll help. Oh, God. What the? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Spelling anything? Z H B Q R. What's happening? I hate that sound. Anything got to do with like crying children in the distance? It's just so fucking weird to me. Hello? Who are you? What do you want from me? Yeah, let's walk to the amber lights in the distance. It's just my car again. Look how fucking cool that is. Oh god, it never ends. Oh, it's faster now. Jesus. He's 
Jesus! Oh, now I'm outside again! Holy fuck! somewhat peaceful again. Can you remember? I don't remember! I don't know what's happening! I don't know who you are or where you are or what you are. God, no, not a fan! Fucking awesome! Holy hell! I recommend you guys go watch that as well. A lot of this will make a lot more sense then if you watch that. Well, as much sense as it can make. But damn, that was really good. Check out our other games on Game Jolt. I might just have to do that because that was really fucking good. I want to see these people make like a full game. That was insane. Look at the, the, like, wind effect in the trees and everything, and then watching it kick up and everything turn to red and the sun go all the way around. I've never seen something like that done in a game, really. And to still be surprised by, like, indie horror games, indie horror game demo things. Like, that's, that's insane. Man, that was good. Okay, well, that does it for this video. I hope you guys got spooked. Hope you got scared. We started off with a really strong one and ended on a really strong one. The two in the middle were fun, but they weren't nearly as crazy as the first and last one. Those were really good. September 1999 and Rot. Oh, man. Really blown away by those. That was, that was really fun. And everything was so different from each other. I liked it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Wake up, boys! And... I you all right? Whoosh! Whoosh! Thank you guys, now we'll see all you dudes! My screensaver on my computer is a raccoon in a trash bin and it makes me very happy.